Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Tech One Thousand Eight. So this is the another video of our series in developing skills in Java programming. So without wasting our time, let's get started with the video. So our today's question is that we have to calculate the simple interest and compound interest. So first of all, we will be making class as interest. We will be mentioning public over here. Now we will be making main method. Public static void main string args. Okay. So first of all, we will be calculating simple interest. So the logic for calculating. So the logic for calculating simple interest is p into r into t. Divided by hundred, where p is the principal, r is the rate, and t is the time. Okay, so for this we will be making three variables: float p, float r, float t. Principal ki value hum log le lete hain eleven hundred. रेट हम ले लेते हैं 1.1 एंड टाइम हम लोग ले लेते हैं सिक्स ओके नाउ वी हैव टू मेक वन मोर वेरिएबल फॉर स्टोरिंग द रिजल्ट फ्लोट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट P into R into T divided by hundred. Now we will print this. System dot out dot println. Simple interest. Press the name of the variable in which we have written the logic. Simple underscore interest. Now we will run this. We are getting one error that is double the four. Okay. We will be mentioning double as a data type over here because double is more precise than float, and it can store 64 bits. Double. Okay, so we have to change the data type of simple interest to. Since it is more precise and good for calculating, we have to change data type of simple interest also. We have, uh, from float to double because double is more precise. Now we will be calculating compound interest. So the logic for calculating the compound interest is amount equals to principal one plus rate ka power n, where n is the number of rates, r is the rate. Oh, where sorry, where n is the number of days, we will be calculating amount, and r is the rate, and p is the principal. So for this, we have to make three variables. That is double amount. Amount is a variable in which we will be storing result. Double principal. Double break. प्रिंसिपल के अंदर हम लोग वैल्यू डाल देते हैं 
थाउजेंड एंड रेट हम लोग ले लेते हैं वन पॉइंट वन ओके ओके सो फॉर डेज वी विल बी मेकिंग फॉर लूप इन डेज इक्वल्स टू वन टिल डेज लेस देन इक्वल्स टू टेन डेज प्लस प्लस दिस मीन्स डेट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द रिजल्ट फ्रॉम डे वन टू टिल डे टेन ओके सो नाउ वी विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द लॉजिक ओवर हेयर अमाउंट इक्वल्स टू प्रिंसिपल वन प्लस रेट सॉरी यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट ओवर हेयर लाइक अमाउंट इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल Now we will be implementing the logic over here. That is, amount equals to principal into math dot power one plus rate comma. Okay. Now we will print this. System dot out dot printer in day plus 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 amount. ओके वी आर फेसिंग टू एरर्स दैट इज वेरिएबिलिटी इन क्लास इंटरेस्ट ओके सो वी हैव टेकन डेज ओवर हेयर एंड वी हैव रिटर्न डे ओवर हेयर वी हैव टू मेक डेज Okay. So see, for the first day we will be getting twenty one hundred. For the second day we will be getting forty four forty four hundred ten rupees. For the for third day we will be getting some more amount. For the fourth day we will be getting some more amount, and likewise it is going on. Thank you. And if you have any type of query, please write in the comment section. And yes, more important, please go and see our previous videos to know more. Hit and like the subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. You will be getting the link in the description below.